friends, welcome to another adventure with Fantastic First Grade Frog. Do you know what day it is? Yes, today is Earth Day! It's Earth Day! That's a wonderful day to celebrate our planet and how we take care of it in many, many ways. So we're going to start with a few books and then we're going to go outside to do a little bit of activity with taking care of our planet. So we're going to start with the book, I Am Planet Earth. The author's name is Jean Marzolo, and the illustrator's name is Judith Moffat. I Am Planet Earth by Jean Marzolo, illustrated by Judith Moffat. I Am Planet Earth. I am the third planet from the sun. The sun gives me heat and light. We know here is our Earth, our planet Earth. We are the third one out from the sun. And remember these rings that aren't really out there in space. They're just showing us how the planets go around the sun. And there's the sun in the middle giving us heat. That means warmth and light. I have many fine things. I have cool, wet water. I have hot, dry sand. I have leafy trees and jungles. I have mountains and valleys. Mountains are the tall places, and valleys are the low places between the mountains. I have warm green rice paddies. Rice paddies are places where they grow rice for food. I have cold white ice. I have animals. I have people. All kinds of people everywhere around our planet. I have towns. I have cities. And I have you. Can you find where you live? Can you find where you were born? I have the globe right here, friends. And we can find where we live on our globe. Of course, the globe is like a round model of our Earth, kind of like a map, but it's round. And it shows us where all the continents are and all the countries. And here's our United States of America. And here is Michigan right here. And this is where we live on our big, beautiful globe, our big, beautiful planet. Pretend the light is the sun. Shine the light on the globe. Can you see how the sun makes day and night? So friends, if we shine the light on this side of the globe, and this side is looking at the sun, this side is having day, but of course we know that our world spins around and around and around. And now this part of the earth is having day, and our part is having night over here on the other side. But of course it keeps turning around and around and around. And here we are back in the daylight again. Night and day, I am your planet, the only one you have. Please take care of me. Now they don't mean that we should take care of the globe. They mean that we need to take care of our planet Earth, the planet that we live on. Next we'll read this book called Let's Take Care of the Earth. It's written by Roseanne Lanchek Williams and illustrated by Nina Chala. Let's Take Care of the Earth. It says home sweet home. And it shows all kinds of animals and people. The desert, the desert, is home to a snake. 
let's take care of the desert. You can see all kinds of animals on this page. We see a rabbit and a lizard and a snake, all animals that live in the desert. And some plants that live in the desert too. The forest, the forest, it's home to a bear. Let's take care of the forest. So you can see all kinds of plants in this picture and a bear and a deer and a little chipmunk. The ocean, the ocean is home to a whale. Let's take care of the ocean. Now friends, there's more than just a whale in this picture, isn't there? There's a seal and a fish and another fish and some seaweed. All things that we should take care of so that those animals can live there. The swamp, the swamp is home to an alligator. Let's take care of the swamp. Not just an alligator in this picture. There's also a bird and a frog. All things that we need to take care of. And look at those plants. The mountain, the mountain is home to a goat. Let's take care of the mountain. Now we can see that big goat there. We can also see a bird. And of course, some plants there that need to be taken care of. The rainforest, the rainforest, it's home to a jaguar. Let's take care of the rainforest. It's not only a jaguar, but a toucan and lots of beautiful plants. The desert, the forest, the ocean, the swamp, the mountain, the rainforest. The earth, the earth, is home to us all. Let's take care of the earth. Well, what does that mean, friends? How do we take care of the earth? Does that mean we have to go out and rake the desert every day, or we have to tuck all the bears into bed? No, not quite like that. Let's talk about how we can reduce, reuse, and recycle. And for that, we're gonna need to go outside. So let's go do that right now. Off we go. So here we are outside with my pile of stuff. You wanna look at my pile of stuff? I've got all kinds of stuff that we've been throwing away and I've gotta figure out, does it go in the recycle bin or does it go in the garbage? Well, let's start with Alex's yucky old banana peel. Does that go in the recycling or in the garbage? Yeah, for right now it has to go in the garbage. You could also compost it. Things like potato peelings and tops of carrots and things like that can go in compost, but I don't have my compost going just yet. Now let's go with this ad. It's made out of paper. It's like a newspaper paper. Where does this go? Does this go in the garbage or in the recycling? Yes, I can recycle that. I'm gonna put that right in the recycle bin. Now I have this bread bag. We finished the bread this morning, so I can throw this away, but I don't know, should I put it in the recycling or in the garbage? Well, this is made out of plastic, but our recycling doesn't take this kind of plastic, so I'm afraid I have to put it in the garbage. What about this? This is a milk jug and it's made out of plastic. Does this go in the garbage or in the recycling? Yes, you're right. This kind of plastic can go in the recycling. Now I have a egg container. Where should this go? The garbage or the recycling? Well, this one's a toughie. Some places will take this for recycling and some won't. So you'll have to find out where, um, what kind of things your place takes. But mine will take some styrofoam. So I'm gonna put this in the recycling. Now I have the boxes from Ryan's birthday cake. Do those go in the garbage or the recycling? They're made of cardboard. Yes, I can recycle those. What about the little plastic sleeve that the cake mix came in? Does that go in the recycling or in the garbage? Yeah, unfortunately that has to go in the garbage. That's the wrong kind of plastic for recycling. How about my box here? I just have a cardboard box. 
Where does that go? Garbage or recycling? Yes, that can go in the recycling. Yay. How about my tube? This is from paper towel roll. I, now I could make it into some really cool thing like hoo -hoo, a hoo-hoo tube or, or make it into some binoculars or a telescope. But if I don't want to do that, should I put it in recycling or garbage? Yes, it's made of cardboard, so I can recycle that. Now I have a can. It's made out of metal. Can I put that in the recycling or should that go in the garbage? Yes, I can recycle that. That's made out of metal and I can put it in there. Last thing, I have a glass jar. It has a metal lid too. Where should that go? Garbage or recycling? Yes, I can recycle both the metal lid and the pla and the glass jar. I'm going to put it in very carefully though so it doesn't break. There, I took care of all the recycling in the garbage. Now we can go back in so I can warm up. Okay, now that we're back inside, now we're going to make um, a craft out of some re recycled materials. So I have just a, a cup that I had from um, just some sour cream that we used up all the sour cream. So I rinsed it out and I just have a paper towel here. You could use any kind of paper. And I'm gonna put the paper towel around it. Or you could put any kind of paper. If you have colored construction paper, you could put that around or any kind of paper. And I'm gonna tape it just like that. There, and now I've covered up my cup. And now I can draw a silly face on it, or I can draw whatever I want. I'm going to draw a silly face. I'm going to draw some big eyes on it, like that. And maybe a silly nose, like that. And a silly mouth. There we go. Now I have a silly face on my cup. And I can use this cup to, maybe I can store my pens in there like this. Uh, or I could even put some dirt in there and plant some seeds. And I could grow some flowers in there. That would be a nice little cup to grow some flowers in, wouldn't it? Hmm, that's a good idea. I could try that too. Now, I have another um, idea that you can do at home as well, that you can make um, a way to feed the birds with just recycled materials that you might have around your house. So let's go and take a look at that next. So here's my little friend that I made with that recycled plastic cup. And I brought it out here so I could fill it with some nice soil. Look at that, I just put some soil in there. And then I could put any kind of seed I want to in there. Of course I'd plant the seeds and I'd cover them up with some soil, give them a little water, and hey presto, in just a little while, I could have some lovely plants growing. The other thing I did, I took this milk jug and I cut away two of the sides just like this and I can make a bird feeder with this. So I'm going to just put a little bit of bird seed in here for the birds just like that and then I can put a little string through and hang it in my tree outside and the birds will have a nice place to eat and it's all from a recycled container. Isn't recycling fun friends? It's a good way to take care of our planet. When we recycle things, then we find other uses for them, and then we don't have to throw so much away and make so many garbage piles, and that takes away from space for animals and plants. So we want to find ways to recycle and reduce all the things we use so that animals and plants have more space and more clean air and water and land. Let's take care of our planet this, this Earth Day. I'd love to see pictures of what you make. If you make something out of recycled material, send me a picture. I'd love to see it. Have a wonderful time recycling. Goodbye.